Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to solve problems involving Charles Law. So Charles Law states that the uh, Charles Law is a gas law that states that the volume and temperature are directly related if pressure and moles are constant, which means that as the temperature goes up, the pressure goes up, and as the temperature goes down, the pressure goes down. The equation associated with Charles Law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, and temperature must, must be in Kelvin. Now, let's jump into some example problems. The first one says the gas occupies, so it gives us uh, original, a volume, and then it gives us a temperature, but you can see that the temperature is currently in Celsius and not in Kelvin, and it's asking us for a new volume, and it gives us a new temperature. So we'll just call it the original V1 and T1, then the volume we're solving for is V2, and that will be T2. Since we're given volumes and temperatures, we're going to use Charles' Law. So we'll set up V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2 and start substituting numbers in. So V1 is 900.0 milliliters. I recommend writing the units because you'll catch yourself if the units do not cancel out. And this is in degrees Celsius, so we have to convert that to Kelvin. To do that, it's 20... Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. So that'll be 27 plus 273, which will give us 300 degrees Kelvin. So that'll be over 300 degrees K equals V2, which is what we're solving for, divided by, uh, that's 132. So we just do 132 plus 273, and that'll be 405 degrees Kelvin. Then to solve for V2, we just cross multiply. So this will be 900 0.0 milliliters divided by four or multiplied by 405 kelvins divided by 300 kelvins will equal v2. Uh, so you can see the kelvins cancel out. And so it would be 900 times 405 divided by 300. So it would be 12. So v2 will equal 1,215. Uh, milliliters because there was milliliters on the other side. Let's check if that makes sense based on uh, Charles' law. So we can see that the temperature went up because it went up from 27 to 132. So if the temperature goes up, the volume should go should increase as well. And it did. It went from 900 to 1215. All right, let's take a look at the next example. So this one's says calculate the decrease in in temperature in when uh, so we're we're solving for temperature, and we're given the volume, the another temperature, and then another volume. So let's let's associate what's one and what's two. Well, these two are associated together because it says that it's two liters at 21 degrees Celsius. So we'll call that one, and then we'll call that we'll call the other condition two. So again, we're going to use Charles' law: V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. So this time we're calculating the the decrease in the, temp the temperature. We're not calculating the temperature, but the decrease in the temperature. So let's substitute some numbers in. Volume one is 2.00 liters. Temperature one, it's in degrees Celsius, so we have to add 273 to this number to get degrees Kelvin. So 21 plus 273 would be 294 degrees Kelvin. The vol volume two is 1.00 liters and then we're calculating uh, temperature two. So to do this, we're first gonna have to cross multiply because our variable's on, on the bottom. So this would be 2.00 uh, liters times T2 equals 1.00 liters times, times 294 degrees Kelvin, and then divide both sides by 2.00 liters so that I'll get rid of that. So T2 would be 1 times 294 divided by 2. Uh, so that'll be 100. T2 would be 147 degrees Kelvin. So they want us to calculate the change in temperature uh, in in degrees Celsius. So let's, you know, just convert this back into degrees Celsius. So we would just subtract 273. And then that'll give us negative 126 degrees Celsius. So then the change in temperature would be the original 21 degree Celsius. Actually, you know, it, 
whenever you're calculating change, you want to do final minus initial. So this is the final temperature, negative 126 degrees Celsius, minus 21 degrees Celsius. And it'll be negative 147 degrees Celsius. So that's the, the decrease in the temperature, negative 147 degrees Celsius. All right, next question. Last question, an inflatable container which has an actual volume, so we're given a volume, uh, is removed from a refrigerator at 5 degrees Celsius, so we're given a temperature and then allowed to warm up. Okay, we're given another temperature and then we're asked to solve for volume. So we'll call this V1 and T1, and then we'll call this T2 and V2. So we can use the get Charles Law equation again, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Then we can substitute the, num the numbers in. Uh, V1 would be 2.05 liters. T1, once again, is in degrees Celsius. Often questions are given to you in degrees Celsius, so you have to just make sure to convert them to Kelvin. 5 plus 273, that'll be 278 degrees Kelvin, equals volume 2, which is what we're solving for. And then temperature 2 would be 21 plus 273, which is 294 degrees Kelvin. Then to solve for V2, we just cross multiply. So 2.05 multiplied by 294 uh, divided by 278, which will give us a V2 of 2.17 liters. Get those liters on the other side. But this question like, is not just asking us for the final volume. It's asking us for a change in volume. So if We'll do take the final volume of 2.17 minus the original volume 2.05, and then that'll give us 0 0.12 liters. So that was an increase in, in pressure, I mean increase in volume, which makes sense because the temperature was increasing, went from 5 degrees to 21 degrees. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.